Yenara ya sasini Yenara ya sasini is a beautiful side of Ghana and most of you have not seen this side on TV or anywhere else so developed skyscrapers really nice roads it's totally lit up at night wow makes me proud to be now Ghanaian hey I feel like you're more Ghanaian than most Ghanaians you I know, know right the, but, fact but... That, the fact that you're even promoting Ghana to the world I think we need to give you those flowers. Oh, Ghanaians, we need give to me give my you flowers. That but you know what? Uh -huh. This place deserves it. I mean, because it really stands out, to be yep, honest. Yep, you know, yep. where do I even start? Do we talk about how lit it is at night? Should we talk about how the roads are really good? Should we talk about the skyscrapers? Do we talk about the security you feel when you. You know, you feel like this place is so international. And this is the place that welcomes you when you land in Accra. Wow. I mean, the first time that you landed in Ghana, which airport did you use? Uh, Kotoka International Airport. And will you believe that before 2000, this place was a forest? Forest. And the only building that existed in here was just the airport, not the one that you landed in. But we had an airport that was built by Kwame Nkrumah. No way. And currently, the new airport that we're using was built by the former president, I mean, it's still Ghana's money. But the whole of this place that you are praising mm -hmm. was a forest. Wow. Before 2000. Wow. So, That's it, so it's developed so fast. It shows that Ghana has changed. So, wow. I mean, those of you who have never been to Ghana since 2000, definitely when you land in Ghana, you'll be like, is this the same Ghana that I left? Wow. It's a group of people who came together to form this city with a collaboration with the government. So whatever building that you see in here has nothing to do with the government. It's more like a private owned building. Wow. Yep. And there are so many and they are concentrated in this area and it just looks so developed. Exactly. It's so impressive, you guys. Would you say this is the richest uh, area in terms of square foot? Remember when you went to South Africa? Yeah, the, the richest was square mark was called uh, um, Santin. Santin. Would you say this is the same for Ghana? I think I would say this exactly the same mm. thing because of the buildings that you see in here. Look at the building behind me. They call this the oh, pineapple building. Oh, that's beautiful. You see that it looks like a pineapple. And then I love how it's lit up at night. Exactly. It so. just lights up. It's incredible. It's more like offices in there. So you can literally rent it wow. and then be in there. And then the designs are just so unique. How pineapple structured building. <laughs> That's so creative. You don't get that every day. Exactly. And they are all around here. There's a, there's one coming up where you know the entire revolving hotel. Yep, it's, a, it's a revolving restaurant. Wow. It, it's one of the buildings that is so unique in here, even though it's abandoned at the very moment. I don't know what happened. If the owner is watching me, this video, please let me know why you abandoned this building. And listen, this place is extremely beautiful. Anytime that I walk in here, I wish the entire country would look like this. Ghana, you know? You know, the rest of Ghana needs to learn from the airport city. Mm -hmm. And the reason why the airport city is what? Developing every single day because it's managed by a group of people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes when you give projects to the government, at the end of the day, people knowing that this is coming from the government, they need to be paid by the government, they don't take care of it. But if it's a private entity, every developer needs to make sure that their buildings are being taken care of. That's why this city looks like this. I know, right? Yep. Incredible. But I, I think I need to educate people more about this place, and I don't know anything about this place. Believe me, all I know is what I read on the internet. So maybe tomorrow morning, what I'm going to do is to go meet the president of the entire city and talk to him. You don't oh, think nice. so? I think that will give us a lot of information because I have so many questions. You have so many questions? I have so many questions. So let's do this. We have to do this, man. Stay tuned and um, enjoy the night view of the airport city in let's, Ghana. Let's start by showing them this building. Look at this building. Look at that building. Look at this one. Maybe, maybe. That one behind. Look at this pineapple building. Look at this one. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is fantastic. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Good, President. Good to, good to see you. Good to see you. You guys have done an amazing job. 
Thank you very much. But for me, I don't like excellency. I'm, oh. I, I am the Kweku Kalmuni. Kweku? Kweku Kalmuni, yes. You call Kweku? Were you born and raised in Ghana? Yes, I was born in Ghana. How do you think you can be called the Kweku? It means you are when is they born. And when is they born, we are smart people. You know that? Who lied to you? <laughs> hey, who lied to you? I don't agree. <laughs> I don't agree. <laughs> who lied to you about when is they born? But it's a pleasure meeting you. Listen, my first question is, since you are the president of the Airport City Association, does it mean that you own a property in here? Yes, absolutely. All the members of Airport City Association, we are owners of the building. I'm the owner of Silver Star Tower, you see here. The research that I did was this place used to be a forest. Is that true? It's true. It used to be a forest. So in the year 2000, uh, the government did an auction okay. and we got two pieces of land and we built Silverstar Tower 1 and other uh, offices came up. Because of this, this became the uptown. You have the downtown and now we have the uptown of Ghana. Does it mean that this is with a collaboration with the government or you own the land fully? No, we own the land fully, but the government uh, did the urban plan that they don't want uh, bungalows here. They want uh, all, all of us to have mid-rise and high-rise. Okay. And that's what we did. And as you see, we do have mostly office space, but we do have uh, hotels. We have the Holiday Inn, which is complete, and we have the Marriott, which is complete, and the other office buildings and other hotels coming up. I want to know if you can tell me what is so unique about the airport city. Wow, that's a wonderful question. The uniqueness of Airport City that you have 29 acres of prime land which have all the new buildings all in one location. They are not dispersed at different places. Mm. And as you look uh, here, you see the buildings are all nice, modern, yep. tropical design. Yep. Uh, okay, so this is wonderful. And uh, especially when you come at night, you think you, you're not in some uh, <laughs> forest anymore. You are now in the Wakanda of Africa. Africa. Yeah. I'm in the city myself, that's why I'm asking you so many questions. So which means that the Airport City Association manage the city now? Yes, we manage the city. The original management was uh, Ghana Airport uh, Company but we are helping them. And four years ago, we, we, we started the city called the Airport City Association. Mm. Okay, so, and some of the things we work on, we work on gutter cleaning, cleaning, security, sidewalks. There's, so there's a sidewalk at uh, uh, First Atlantic, there's uh, Atlantic Towers, we have sidewalk at Silver Star Tower. And we want to encourage all our members to build sidewalks because walking is healthy and it's good. Is there any available land at the moment? Uh, no, all the lands have been, uh, ha sold, have been out. sold out, but for people who are interested, I heard from Kokonsa that there's an airport city too. So maybe you can see my friends at the airport for airport city too. So this is a private city? Uh, the airport city one is a private one? It's not a private, it's, uh, it's government, but the government sold it to individuals to build. So airport city too will also be sold to private citizens to build. So they manufacture or they do the master plan. And they say this area we want office, this area we want a hotel, this area we want uh, maybe an apartment. After the government sold the land to you, does it tell you the kind of building that you need to build in here? Uh, no, they only tell you about the zone. But you decide on whatever design you want to do and the height. You can decide to make it five stories high or 10 stories high. But obviously, since the, the land is prime, you want to build something very nice on an international level.